Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. I'm Paul Allen and the topic of today's newsletter is measurement system analysis. Now this is one of those statistical techniques that I've already told you. Do you drive to work thinking I need more statistics? This is one of the great techniques where, yeah, you need this guy. Measurement system analysis. If I were to say to you, every measurement system you have in your company is wrong. The only question is, how wrong is it? And I know that you would defend that situation by saying to me, ah, Paul, our measurement systems aren't wrong because we calibrate and we calibrate regularly. Well, if you look at elements of a system, you've got the machine, you've got the people, you've got the method, You've got the environment, and you've got the material. There are all elements of your measurement system. If you say to me, I calibrate, which one of those are you getting under control? Well, calibration, it's all about the machine, what about the people, what about the material, what about the method, the environment, etc. It's getting those under control. And all of those constitute a measurement system. This is not a measurement system. This is just a piece of equipment that you're using. So when you look at the full measurement system, you need to control it all and not just calibrate the machine. Because let me give you a little example, a little extreme example. If I gave you your super duper measuring equipment, which is calibrated, that particular shape and I said to you tell me what the diameter of that is it really doesn't matter whether it's calibrated does it uh, what is the diameter of that shape it doesn't really have one if you wanted to work it out you might say well we'll, we'll measure the narrowest and we'll measure the longest and we'll take the average and that might work providing you can find the narrowest and the longest of course you might not find those spots you might say, oh, well, in that case, what we'll do is we'll go across there two more times and I'll take the average. Okay, so now we're measuring four places and taking the average. How many more places do you want to take? You could do, go 10 places and take the average. They're all different methods, aren't they? And they're all going to come up with a different answer. So you see, measurement system analysis, every measurement system you have, because of the complexity of what you do, is essentially just a guess. Every measurement a guess. And the question is, how good a guess is it? Or what MSA is going to tell you is how good the guess is. Because what's happening is this. You have a manufacturing process which is making a product. This is the distribution that's coming off the machine. Here's the product that you would like to see. You would like to see the blue distribution. But unfortunately, before you can see the blue distribution, you have to put those parts through another process. The measurement process. And unfortunately, that has a distribution as well. So what you actually see is not the blue distribution. You see these two added together. So, what happens? You want to see the blue distribution. This gets added to the problem and you end up seeing the black distribution which is always slightly bigger and is created by the measurement error. Measurement error always makes your process look slightly worse, slightly more variable than it actually is and of course if specifications come into contact with this distribution what it will also do is it will make you inflate your defect rate. Either see defects that aren't really there, or if you have a defect rate, it makes the defect rate look bigger. And if you're trying to get rid of the defect rate, getting rid of measurement error is part of the component. Because as you can see, if I could just measure that blue distribution, in this example, I actually have a very low defect rate. What's creating my problem isn't something to do with this machine, something to do with this process over here. I have to fix this 
before I go and look at this. MSA will tell you if you have this problem. If you don't, all that will happen is you go work on this, and you wonder why you're not making any headway. The reason you're not making any headway because the problem's really here, working in completely the wrong place. MSA is going to tell you how wrong your measurement systems are. Subscribe or drop me an email and I hope to hear from you soon.